I used to call it the the biggest secret in IT. <laughs> like there's this job that you don't have to go to a university for and get in debt for four years that you can break into in about a year and start with a with a good salary. What is a Linux systems administrator? So a Linux system administrator normally manages the IT infrastructure at, a, at an organization. And like before defining what a, a sysadmin does, I have to kind of define what IT services are and what IT infrastructure means. So IT infrastructure is usually what powers uh, the technology services that they offer at an organization. And that offering can be internal, so think about internal websites, um, like applications that run as web servers, or some, or like more complex things like an HR tool. Um, we also run backup systems, so you may have a workstation and all your files are stored in another place, so that if you needed them in a few years or if something happened to your computer, you have like that certainty that that the data is there. So that happens for your personal computer, but it also happens for some of those high uh, importance servers in your environment. Um, we also run things like ticketing systems that can be used for like customer service reps, if your organization have, has that, or even tech support. So we kind of run infrastructure that supports our, our own teams. We have tools like time servers so if you're in an organization that's time sensitive so think about a bank they need to make sure that every system in the environment has a consistent time because you can't have one thing record one transaction at one time and another transaction at a at a different time that's not synced up so these things are like mission critical believe it or not we also run monitoring systems that basically monitor all these appliances and systems that we host because we want to be proactive about how we learn about problems in our environment. Like we don't want our users to start complaining on Twitter um, that there's an outage when we could have known that ahead of time. There's also network security tools like firewalls that we manage, email services, VPN services, IT uh, development environments, being a sysadmin is a pretty broad uh, role and you could end up in an environment where you're doing all these things or just a subset of, of these things. Because one of the things I, I see frequently is that um, depending on what organization you work at, their, their IT departments may look completely different from one place to another. So there may be companies that have like a separate IT team per department, there's others that are going to have more of a cent central IT department that supports everything. So again, it, it, it depends on where they fall. It seems like it's almost like a thankless job. If everything is going good, people may never like see you guys or hear about what you do. But yo, as soon as the server goes down, they're like, yo, this trash IT, like they never get anything well, right. Yeah, the, the end users don't know about us, but everybody in our organization tends to know about that. And that justifies the pay we get. <laughs> because if things go down, well, our organizations can't fall short of that mission that they're trying to accomplish. So if that is selling services and their systems are down, well, they can't sell services and they may lose money every, every minute. And depending on the organization, it can be a lot of money, but not only money, like some organizations just offer things and that's, that's what they do. Like they have a service, let's say the national library of medicine, they don't, they're not a for-profit organization, but they have a catalog of all the medical research in the U S that is offered to universities, to researchers, to everybody in the world, actually. And an hour down is an hour where they're not fulfilling that mission. So that's why sysadmins are, are important because we help manage those systems that make these organizations be able to accomplish their goals. Gotcha. No, that's great. So it seems like it's very broad in terms of industry. It's not just one specific, like you mentioned banks, you mentioned like research library, you mentioned like the full thing, for-profit, non-profit. So it seems like it's a lot of variety 